Hi, Pete Morris from Shooting Sports Magazine. Welcome to Gunmark TV. And what we have here is one of my favourite type rifles, the Straight Play R15. This one is from LMT, Lewis Machine and Tool, the same people that make the um, uh, sharpshooter rifle from the British Army in 308 or 762. This is a 223 gun, it's called the Ultra Match. Um, the name rather gives it away. It's a little bit different, the gun. It has a one piece monolithic rail and receiver which is very clever because there's no um, disruption at all between these two components like on a standard AR-15. Uh, it also has a switch barrel. As we'll see in a bit, these two screws, one slacks off, one comes out and the barrel just pulls forward and off the gun. Which means there's the opportunity to get a barrel in 300 uh, blackout for example because it's the same head in 223. And on the 308 gun, uh, the people that sort of, should we say, uh, retail the gun, defence mechanisms, they can offer cut rifle or button rifle barrels in um, 308, 260 rem, 7.08, 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, 6.5 by 47 Lapua. So really, if you don't fancy a 308, it's the same head and the same magazine. Uh, it's quite a good idea. Enough of that, anyway. The guns come as a T-handle cock at the back. This is an adaptation made by Defence Mechanisms that uses a a southern gun co handle with an adapter block. As we all know, side cocking is the way to go with an AR-15. It's just so much more logical. So pull. Saying that though, the, the rifle is built as a straight pull. The LMT have obviously looked at it because I've been shooting this thing with a variety of ammunition and in most cases you can cycle the gun with the T handle quite easily. The only problem is it's more of a pain to do, uh, certainly if you're shooting any sort of competition where a rate of fire is required. Uh, say that the, this barrel is um, cut rifled, which is probably the best best sort of barrel you can do. It's a one in seven point five twist, so it will handle bullets up to eighty grains plus. I've shot through this. Um, won't shoot fifty fives, which shoots them, but it's not consistent. Shoots starts well at sixty, move up to sixty nine, shoots very well indeed. Uh, then you go on to um, seventy five grain, and also eighty grain bullets. Um, I think of the two, it shoots the 80s better than, than the 77s, whereas my, my Speedmaster shoots 77 better overall. It's a very standard gun apart from that. Straight pull with this block of if you, This is um, an option. At the current moment, um, defence mechanisms are offering this, uh, this cocking system, side cocking system, free of charge. It's 180 quid's worth of, uh, of accessory, free of charge for the summer. And I've got to say, I wouldn't care if it wasn't free. This is, how I, I, this is how I'd run it. Though other people who just shoot AR-15s, not for speed, but for accuracy and the pleasure of it, they may still want the T-handle, which is fine. Uh, the gun wears a um, ergo grip, which is quite nice. Good shape, a little bit thin for me. I prefer the um, Magpul M1 AD, but this is a nice, nonetheless a nice grip. It places the finger well. This is not the standard butt. This is an LMT, um, what they call DMR butt. Um, adjustable comb, height. Adjustable length of pull. You can put a, you can put a monopod catch on there, and it also is um, length adjustable. V pretty much, it's a copy of the uh, of the Magpul um, PRS Precision Rifle Stock, and all the better for it. The actual rifle comes with a, a standard uh, telescopic butt with side saddle tubes. Um, it looks a bit like the um, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's it's one of the better ones. Basically, I do apologise. Um, but it's fully adjustable. Uh, also, the gun comes with uh, no rails as such. You can bolt the rails on when you want them, and comes with uh, covers, rubber covers. So this is quite nice, as you can see. One of the here, you can put a bipod on there, or a foregrip, and the ones at the side, you can put on lights and lasers as you see fit. It's threaded half by 28 UNEF, so no real problem with any other muzzle devices. But let's just look at the barrel takedown, which is the, which is the most unique thing about it. Lock the action back, and you get a special tool included from LMT. And these two screws here will hold the barrel in. The back one is purely a clamping screw, and you can just undo it a couple of turns. The front one goes through underneath the reinforcers, a little cutout, so it has to be physically removed. But the, the actual key has got like a clutch into it, so when you re tighten it, you go to a certain stage, and it's a bit like a torque wrench, it clicks, and you know it's. Um, so that's that one out. 
out comes the barrel as you can see there's a little cut out there that that engages in and if you can see that okay and that's pretty much it this is uh, just a locating pin here the LMT also make the guns with um, for self-loading use so this is the number this is purpose-built um, UK legal AR so the barrel goes back in best to shut the bolt so the bolt grips into the uh, locking abutments and holds the barrel where it should be you wind the screw in Feel it as it goes in. And that's it. That's the barrel back in. Head spaced. The other thing is that LMT only make the guns with a case, a case deflector and a forward assist. They will not make a, a, another receiver. What defence mechanisms do, which is required when you put the side cocker on, is they machine half the case deflector away. Um, and the forward assist and that are both fully functioning still but it's just the way they are at LMT so it's not worth the effort us making a new receiver for you. So very sound they are 15 you can put different controls and safety on it. Trigger's nice, this is two stage so you pull it back, nice bit of take up with a decent break for, for an AR-15. I mean AR-15 triggers can be notoriously awful um, so it's a nice rifle, it shoots very well and on that point, um, also on test, GGG ammunition, which most AR-15 shooters will know, they make a very nice 62-63 grain um, FMJ load, um, which is the NATO spec load. This is their first ever 69 grain um, target style load. It uses a hollow point boat tail Sierra Match King, much loved by everybody. And that's it, looks no different, but it's a quality case. Um, Good bullet, case is reloadable, but you will need to just get a little chamfer in there and knock out the uh, the rim at the back of the primer pocket. I I shoot these my AR-15 and I just clean the case up and reload them, but um, very nice. Comes with a 20 round mag, the tool, you get iron sights with it, the pick, the, the Picty rail kit and, and um, rail cover kit. You get a sling and also QD swivels on it as well. A uh, little tip here that I found out the other day. When the QD swivels are fitted, the barrel won't come out because it pull, comes out so far and it just it just fouls on these. It's not, it's, it's not an issue. It's just uh, I was trying to pull out and realise what was wrong. So it's just a thought when you take the barrel out. And that's really it. It's say guns are imported by an LEI, Law Enforcement International, uh, and they sell to the military and also the police. Um, Gary Harding, who is the defence mechanisms, he works with LEI very closely, so he handles the other side of it. And also Wayne from Northwest Custom Parts, he tends to sell some LMTs as well. So that's the rifle. It's been shooting very well. I've got to say, as an AR-15 fan, it's a hell of a good gun. And the price is, I think, about two, three ballpark. Um, and so that will be free at the moment. But if not, you know, you put another 180. So it's in sort of the upper middle bracket of, a, of more expensive AR-15s. So it's not the most expensive gun. And there's an off-the-shelf piece even with a standard butt on it, it's a good investment. Okay, let's just put some rounds through it, which is always a pleasure with an AR-15. You don't care, so that's that. We'll back release. Cocker's quite the T handle, though it's slow, pulls out the brass nicely. This is a credit to the gun and how it's made. But personally, for me, it'll always be a T handle. That's the LMT. Well worth a look.